Hello my sweet friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this week's What's For Dinner. Y'all, it's gonna be such a good one. I am so excited to share these recipes with you and I hope they bring you and your family all of the meal inspo. I have the most easy and delicious dump and go crock pot recipe that was so good and will absolutely be on repeat in the Bunky household. We already cannot wait to make it again so I am so excited for you guys to see that one and if you've never made it, trust me, you will thank me later. And if this is your first time stopping by, then welcome. I'm so glad that you did. My name is Jessica. My husband's name is Brian. We call each other Bunky. If you're totally confused, that is our nicknames. And we would love for you to join our family. So before you leave, be sure to hit that subscribe button and y'all give this video a thumbs up if you are loving these what's for dinners. And let's go ahead and get cooking. All right, y'all. So it's actually a little after 10 a.m. And tonight, Bunky and I are having Mississippi pot roast. I am so excited. We have never had this before but of course I have seen this recipe everywhere you guys know it is so popular I am going to go ahead and spray my crock pot with just a little bit of Pam so nothing sticks to it I of course have my pot roast right here we're going to do one packet of au jus gravy mix one packet of ranch seasonings so that's about two to three tablespoons of this dry mix however many pepperoncinis that you want you guys know we like it a little spicy around here I'm going to use um even a little bit of this juice as well to give it some more flavor and then I've seen some recipes who use one stick of butter. I've seen some that use none. So I'm going to use about half a stick of butter on top of ours. That's it. Literally like a dump and go. And then eight hours on low and it will be ready. Okay, y'all, so there's only about 30 minutes left. I think I'm gonna go ahead and shred this up. It looks and smells so good. Did you shred that? Yeah, I'm gonna shred it and then like let it juice in the in the juice. <laughs> Maybe we just turn the, the heat off because it's, it's hot in there. This thing's hot. Yeah, you're gonna shred it and then just like put all that goodness throughout all the shreds, you understand? Mm. Okay. Okay, anyway, all day today I have been taking its liquid and kind of like redistributing it on top. Basting it. Basting it on top of this um, roast. And y'all, this just, I cannot tell you how good it made our house smell. I cannot wait to eat this. And then to go along with this roast, I'm going to make some mashed potatoes because I thought that sounded so good. All of that like juicy gravy goodness on top of some mashed potatoes. Yes, please. Bunky wanted rice, but I was like, mashed potatoes are going to be better. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start on those right after I kind of pull this apart and let it finish cooking for the last 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, it's just like literally, this is like falling apart it is yeah. so tender don't make it too too small though okay taste the bite is it good mm-hmm i haven't eaten this i think since i was like i have not had a roast in forever i've never had this one like it is falling apart that's gonna be good. Okay, so now it is time to get started on these potatoes and I'm just using a mixture of the Yukon Golds and then the little baby Dutch ones that I always get. I love using these because you don't have to peel them. They're a lot softer so they don't take as long. It's just the best way to make mashed potatoes that I have found, but you use whichever ones you want. And I did go ahead and rinse them really well and cut them up into bite-sized pieces. And then I'm just gonna bring them to a boil and salt the water. Okay, so I totally snuck a bite or three or four 
of this Mississippi pot roast and let me just tell you I don't know how I have never made this but it is amazing and I cannot stop going back but he's like you're gonna ruin your dinner but it is so good I cannot wait to have some of that juicy gravy goodness over some mashed potatoes So after the potatoes are cooked, I take them out, drain them, and add them right back into that same pot. And then I'm going to take what's left over of that stick of butter that we used for the roast and add that to my potatoes, as well as some milk and some sour cream. And now I do not measure this. I totally eyeball it until I get that consistency that I want. And then I'm going to add in lots of salt and pepper, take my little pampered chef gadget, and mash this up until I get that rich velvety texture that I love. And mashed potatoes and I will tell you guys a fun fact I actually used to add in milk butter sour cream mayo and cream cheese to my mashed potatoes talk about decadent and rich they were so good but not good for you and honestly I almost like them better this way I think all you need is a few simple ingredients and they were so good with this roast you guys have to try this if you never have before. It was incredible. Okay, y'all, if I look like a sweaty mess, it's because I have been a decorating fool today, pulling out all of my fall decor and just starting the process of decorating our house. And honestly, I am so excited, but it is definitely a lot of work. I've done a few different spaces that I am so proud of and I cannot wait for you guys to see, but I also want it to be a big surprise. So I'm trying to like strategically film dinner tonight and Bunky and I are super hungry. So we are very excited for dinner. We're gonna be making some like chicken, shrimp tacos fajitas I don't really know what to call it because I kind of just made up this recipe but we're gonna do like a little sauce to marinate them in that's gonna be delicious I made the sauce one other time for Bunky's shrimp and he really liked it so I thought that would be good on chicken and shrimp so we're gonna make that do everything on the black stone and then I think Bunky is gonna make some like mango pico to go along with it so that should be really good so I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you kind of what is in this marinade so for this marinade I just have some roasted red peppers right here we're gonna add in tons of garlic y'all know we love our garlic around here some salt and pepper a little bit of hot sauce just a little bit of sour cream and some olive oil and then we're just going to kind of blend that all together and pour it over the chicken and shrimp Marinade is done. I'm gonna let Bunky taste it because I wanna make sure it tastes good. Mm hmm That's good. Is it really good? Oh yeah, that's... Is it too spicy? Uh-uh. That is real good. The roasted red peppers is what makes that good. Uh-huh. And I think there's like a little bit of sour cream. Gives it some creaminess. Yum. <laughs> I think the last time I made this, I added some lime juice. So I'm gonna add a little bit this time too just to kind of give it a little bit more acidity. So I just went ahead and cut my chicken kind of into bite-sized pieces with some kitchen shears to make it a little easier. I'm gonna throw my marinade on here. And then Bunky's over here making his pico. We got some perfectly cut onions, jalapeno, what else? Mango. I have a mango going in there, some lime juice, tomato, cilantro, and a, tinks, a bit of salt. I'm just gonna like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it because I'm crazy. Monkey, you are crazy. You can just chop that. But what if I end up with like really long strips or something? It'll taste all the more better. This is going. Look, look at, look at my speed. Oh my god! You see how fast I am. I think you should take a bite out of that. Mm-hmm. Is that good? Oh yeah. You should you should have a bite for yourself. Oh my gosh, that is slimy. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that is good. Tastes like a peach. Mm-hmm. This isn't happening as easily as it did. When you made me margaritas? <laughs> well, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add some lime juice to Bunky's perfectly diced jalapeno and onion while he finishes the mango. That's 
Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and then while he's going to cut up his tomato. After he eats all the mango. I can't let what's still on here go to waste because it is good. Is it? Mm hmm We don't eat enough mango. It is juicy. And so sweet. I was watching um, Mandy from Mandy the Bacon. I was watching her Instagram story and she said only Southerners stand over the sink and eat some like peaches and mangoes because they're so juicy. We're we'll running down your elbows. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I've got Bunky's shrimp in this marinade, and then if you guys saw our Trader Joe's haul, um, you saw Bunky pick up this chili onion crunch, which he said is so good, and all of you guys raved about and said basically it's going everything. So we're going to add a little bit to his shrimp. Quit eating your pink pico. I could just eat that for dinner. Okay, but you kind of get the black slum turned on. Okay, so I cut up some onions and a green bell pepper for Monkey. I'm just gonna go ahead and drizzle the tiniest little bit of olive oil on them because we're gonna put them on the black stone so they get nice and delicious. <laughs> and then a little bit of salt. All right, we are smoking hot, <laughs> ready smoking hot. for some chicken and some veggies. We're ready? Yep. Chicken, veggies, and shrimp are off the grill. Y'all, they smell so good. This marinade is delicious. Y'all will have to try it and tell me what you think. I'm gonna go put the tortillas on the grill and kind of melt some cheese on there. I thought that would be delish. And then we will build these tacos. Okay, it is time to make our tacos. All of this looks and smells so good. This was such a like fun little creative dinner. I think it's gonna turn out amazing. Are you gonna try your uh, cheese crisp? <laughs> that was a good idea that by the way. I wanna bite, I wanna bite, I wanna bite. I mean, you talk about just... That's just some goodness right there. That's comfort food. <laughs> Y'all know that we like to make fajitas like once a week and they're one of our favorite things because they're so easy. But this is like fajitas times 10 like it is so good I cannot wait for you guys to try this and tell me what you think I like love the flavor of it I got some jalapeno on the back of my throat <laughs> mm. it was a huge bite hold on I'm back okay <laughs> as I'm stuffing my face so you know how like a lot of times I'll get fish tacos or shrimp tacos or whatever from a restaurant. Mm -hmm. I kid you not, these things are as good if not better than, like, they're, they're no so way. good, I promise you. I think it's only because of the mango though. Oh, the mango, that's so good. It really goes good with the, the shrimp, like the sweetness of it. I think the only thing that we could have done is add some like sliced red cabbage to yours. That would have been so good. Yeah. I mean, like this though, it's delicious. Woohoo! 
Ooh, this was a good bunky dinner. It's so good. Okay, friends, so that is gonna do it for this was for dinner. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got lots of great ideas and meal expo for you and your family. Leave me a comment and tell me which recipe you are most excited to make. I love you all so very much. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.